Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT John. I'm the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. In Canada. Uh, yeah. This is Quebec. Our, our brothers up north. Yeah. So there, I guess there was a group who was hunting down pedophiles. Okay, good for them. So, so they would like. It said that they would. Uh, it said that they would hunt. So basically, that they would like lure them out, film them. Accuse. I don't know what they would do. Like you mm. know, try to get them. In tr- I don't know. What they didn't. It didn't really get into any much detail. But the thing that I wanted to talk about with this, mm. the police arrested all of them. For why you can't? What they arrested the the group for? You can't round up pedophiles. What? No. This is this is kind of wild, dude. So no. they arrested people and charged them with the distribution of child abuse images. So, but listen, hold on. Like, I had to read this like three times to get it. Okay. So what they would do is they would find someone who looks young but was of age and take pictures of them and use those to lure the people out. So the person was of age, but they like made them pr- perceive oh, them as, yeah, as yeah, younger. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. And so it says that here it says they asked them about what they did. They said the exchanges of photos during conversations and what the law says is when you share a photo that is an explicit pornographic material, when you claim it represents the person of the age of a minor, even though it really isn't, it becomes child pornography. What do you know? It, like, come on. And that's what they arrested him for. It, this is in Canada. This is in Canada, okay, though. Yeah. So if you, so like, if you dress dress up like you're younger than eighteen and you're over eighteen, they still consider that child pornography and will arrest oh, you. They arrest. Really? That's what they arrested these kids for, or these guys. One of them was like forty. That's absolutely crazy. I mean, honestly, it probably should something we should adopt here. It's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little. It's weird. a little weird energy, right? <laughs> yeah, but you know, what I mean, like, but the porn industry thrives on that, like. Barely 18, like, stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you know? that's, a, that's a little weird, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, you're like, you what, like you like look at it, and you're like, oh, my God, is this person? <laughs> yeah, it's like, look, it's a little oh. weird. It is a little weird. It's more it's more than a little weird. I just thought that it was. That and all the, like, mommy son stuff, like, what's, what are you Yeah, doing? dude, so I'm like, I was just like. No judgment, though. No judgment. No I judgment. mean, I kind of am glad that they're calling out pedophiles. Yeah, and, and tr- they were doing a to catch a predator like Kate Cananda edition. It is kind of it is wait com- it is a little weird that the uh, the guys who went out and <laughs> were looking for pedophiles were literally doing like mock so child porn, <laughs> doing like machi so young uh, like photo shoots. Yeah, like, in their I mean, spare time. They didn't say what it was. I, I imagine they probably had like a set that they used, you know, for everyone. I would yeah, guess, yeah, 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 but yeah. still, like, but I feel it, it kind of sounded over the article that they were looking to nab these guys for something because the yeah. police obviously didn't like them doing this because that's a dangerous slope to ride. Like it's like vigilante justice. Yeah, okay, I can see that. But it, get them for that. Don't get them for like mo- like mock. Uh, it's it's literally real porn, but they got it. They got them that because they're dressed up to represent someone who's oh, not. Oh, it is. I don't know, man. I feel like that's that's a little entrapment ish. It doesn't feel a little entrapment. Yeah, well, because technically they're rounding this dude up and shaming him when they he wasn't even looking at child stuff. Yeah, they, it's just so it's like they're like, ha, we got you. We we sent you this photo of not an underage person and you liked it oh, and now you're yeah. weird. Yeah. But like <laughs> now you're all weird. But I mean, but in all reality, they thought the whole time yeah, the person was, was so they were they are that. You know, it's yeah, like yeah, if it yeah. looks like a duck and walks like a duck, I mean what, what did they what did they do? Did they beat him up or did they just like No, they just recorded the interaction and blasted him all over social media. Uh, so like they just publicly shamed them. Okay. Yeah, okay. they didn't like, now. If they would have been now, as much as these people deserve it, they should not meet them and then like lynch them in the park or something and beat the shit out of them. Like, I don't think that's cool. And what's the name of this group, by the way? Because I didn't feel, have a name. Because there's a there's a bunch of groups that are doing this. Honestly, I feel like there's a couple there's a couple in uh in America that have gotten some uh some acclaim lately. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to start doing this on the channel? We just try hunting down pedophiles and no. like be like and like. Just be like, "Yo, you're doing wrong shit, dog." And then we like turn him into the cops. I wouldn't even know how do you how do you catch a pedophile? What's the first step? All right, when hunting a pedophile, what do you do first? What's the first thing you do? I don't know. Exactly, dude. I don't know what to do. Get on the internet and 
talk to them and be like, oh, I'm a 13-year-old boy. We need, we need a Caesar Milan of pedo hunting. Who we need a that? Bear Grylls of a bear pedo, grill. pedo yeah, hunting. Yeah, like, okay. You make a very valid point. Where? What do you do? I don't know. Like, like, I mean, you would have to, like, research where real people do that, and then that makes you just as bad as them. Yeah, that's the thing, Because you should find out where they where they hunt their prey that's and then the turn thing. them into the cops immediately. Like, hey, there's this forum where people are doing this, and then the cops can do their own investigation. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I mean, I'm all on board with getting every pedophile off the streets. Yeah, yeah. Like, 100%. I mean, that, I'm, I don't want you to think I'm not on board with that. <laughs> I just don't know how so, to do it, and I feel like the law is the proper – like, okay, for example, if I was like, if I was online looking for a forum about something, and I was like, holy crap, there's, like, kid stuff on here, the first thing I would do was, like, go to the cops and be like, hey, I stumbled across this thing. Here yeah, you go. Yeah. I wouldn't try to lure them out myself. <laughs> I'm going to kick this dude's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like – as much as I wanted to, I would not do it, but I would, like, turn gonna, him in. I'm going to kick his ass. Yeah, like, put let, him over let, let me media. talk to him and convince him to meet me at the park. The real impetus behind it, which, you know, is, like, at least it's some, somewhat altruistic in nature. Yeah, but the yeah. impetus behind it is to put it up on social media and make it go viral. And to shame the, yeah, they want to shame the yeah. person and, yeah. Because everybody knows that it's rude to go up to people and ask them to answer your questions about like their their life and stuff. Nobody wants to do that. But if you go and do it to a pedophile, it's okay to prank a pedophile. Oh yeah, nobody's yeah, yeah nobody's nobody's upset. Exactly, he's essentially pulling pranks in the hood, but just on pedophiles. I mean, I'm on board for that. And, and see, that's the thing. It's like that person but deserves to be bothered. But finding the pedophile is the hard part, and you have to do some shady shit to find him. And then you have to yeah. interact with them and yeah. lure them and convince them that it's, like, worth it. Like, that's a lot of work, dude. I would just yeah. turn them into the cops. Yeah. Yeah, you got to, like, make a website, do it some convincing images. I would rather just not do any of that. <laughs> but if you want the claim of catching pedophiles, that, I'm sorry. Is that like people's life, life goal? Like, I'm going to hunt yeah. down this. I mean, dude made a bunch of money on the show to catch a predator. And some of these. Some... <laughs> that show. What? I don't know if we. I think we talked about this. that show ended because one of those guys killed himself. I'm sorry. What? One of the guys on, on to catch a predator. Like they, they found they like because they never oh, like because they the never they yeah because yeah, they never like got to the point where they like got arrested for like that stuff because they weren't but like it's like that like come to Jesus moment like oh I'm gonna go meet this kid and now Chris Chris whoever's there and he's like hey come on in sit down yeah, yeah. and then the guy was so shamed he like killed himself and yeah. they were like okay we can't do this anymore like why not though exactly it's the best way to shame a motherfucker is to be like. Catch him in the act. Like, you're here to meet a 13 year old person. Exactly. And, oh, no, I was just gonna. You were just gonna what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, everything in your in this conversation made you believe they were underage and you came to a house. Uh, the way I see alcohol. it is that. The way I see it is that, hey, look, if you're gonna kill yourself because you got found out because of that, you're gonna do it regardless. It's better you get it over with early. Because before you hurt a bunch of kids. Before you hurt anybody else. Yeah, exactly. man. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I don't want anyone to kill themselves. <laughs> but, like, if there's one person that I think most people can get behind if they're not around anymore. Yeah. It's, a, it's a pedophile. But they ultimately, I'm, they have a problem that they need to be healed from. Yeah, brother. I'm not really doing any, like, cyanide pill activities out here. No. I'm not doing anything out here in the streets where it's like, hey, I'm going to have to just, like, off myself if anybody ever finds yeah, out I'm doing yeah. this. Yeah, No, dude. Like, I don't do anything that crazy. No, man. I, uh, I, um... I no cyanide pill activities. No, I mean I I do whatever I want, but nothing's illegal. You're not secretly like a coke mule or anything. A coke mule. Yeah, I just what, what did you call it? Boof. I'm yeah. boofing. I'm boofing coke on the daily. <laughs> Are you just flying in and out of Tijuana? I mean, you check my passport, bro. It's in and out. Ooh, with with two felonies on your record already. <laughs> you Jonas. Know me. They call me Joni Jailson for nothing. Joni Jailson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they call people that go to jail? Exactly. <laughs> Everybody becomes the, the jail senses. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the jail senses? It's all the jail folks. They re Oh my god. This is some issue would say in jail and get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> this is. He would say this in jail and get beat up. Dude, what if every person that went to jail, they legally changed their name to Jailson? So I, so like that's where we I'm were going Sheila with Jailson. It. 
We're in a jail sentence. And you'll be like, hey, guys, we're in a jail sentence. And everybody beat you up. I get shanked. <laughs> get murdered. I, I want to shank you now. <laughs> Put that knife down. We got to go. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Do you think? Well.